So back in March, my husband and I went on a quick day trip to Yokohama, just south of Tokyo. Since that trip, we quickly fell in love with Yokohama, and it's not just because they have really good Chinese food. There's quite a lot of things to do, and it even has an area that really reminds you of being in a big European city. But first, let's focus on Chinatown. It's the biggest one in all of Japan. It's larger than the ones in Nagasaki and Kobe, and are roughly around 250 Chinese themed or Chinese owned shops and restaurants throughout the district, which houses around 3 to 4,000 people. We went on a Saturday, so it was no surprise that there were a lot of people, but nothing that you can't manage. The weather was also pretty good, which is why you get a lot of people meandering and trying out street food all throughout that big district. I really enjoyed the large chicken, which is very popular in Taipei, and these soup dumplings that remind me of Xiaolongbao's, but they're actually a little bit fried and toasted on the outside. And you'll actually see a lot of stores selling the same dumpling. My husband being the buchi connoisseur that he is gave these ones his seal of approval. We continued meandering through the streets of Chinatown and we found these two literal lovebirds, two paid actors for this vlog. And what's a visit to Chinatown if you didn't get to have boba? These ones were really good, not that sweet, and still very refreshing and really hitting the spot. I was super full by the time that we finished this that I couldn't even get myself to try Tanghulu. Which I don't think are Chinese, although they've gotten really popular in the Asia street food scene as of late. These panda buns, however, almost got me to buy them just because of how cute they are, right? But I knew I won't be able to finish even just one, so I had to exercise better judgment and walk away. After Chinatown, we took a walk along Yokohama's Esplanade. In this area, we saw the NYK Hikawa Meru. It serves as a part of Japan's Maritime Museum. It was commissioned in the 1930s and at that time, it was a state-of-the-art liner for transporting passengers and cargo between Japan and Seattle. In its 30 years of service, this ship crossed the Pacific over 250 times, carrying around 25,000 passengers. And during World War II, it was used as a hospital ship. Nowadays, you can find the Hikawa Maru permanently docked at the Esplanade by Yamashita Park in Yokohama as a floating museum. It has a hotel and restaurant, and you can also check out the elegantly decorated interiors that are so well preserved. We didn't go in this time because obviously I was distracted by all the dogs and especially by this beautiful, beautiful corgi who I was hoping to be my little Wancho's girlfriend. She's so smart like my Wancho. She also does tricks and oh, just look at her. She's gorgeous. From there, we walked over to one of the main reasons we decided to go to Yokohama that day and that is to see the moving Gundam before it was taken apart. This was, I think, two Sundays before they actually closed down the Gundam factory in Yokohama. Like most men his age, my husband enjoyed playing with these Gundam robots when he was young and he had his own little collection but sadly they're not there anymore so seeing the life-sized moving Gundam is probably similar to how I feel whenever I see something that's related to Sailor Moon here in Tokyo so I was totally up for going with him and I actually wanted to see it as well 
Aside from the actual moving robot, there were lots of things to see. I found that the history and the actual process of building the moving Gundam was quite interesting. I wasn't a big fan of Gundam when I was young, although I did see a couple of episodes while I was so I was so I was familiar with how with how these robots look and seeing its life-sized version moving and just being in its presence really gives you that feeling of nostalgia and i can only imagine how it must be for people who are actual fans of the show seeing something from your childhood that you probably thought was not going to happen in your lifetime and finally it's there it's just wow i can't describe it <laughs> I also enjoyed the mini museum that showcased the robotics that went into the whole project. It really was a sight to see and I was literally standing for a good 10 minutes in front of this robot that was creating other miniature Gundams. But I was not alone, I was with a group of grade school students and grown men. There was a Gundam cafe right in front of the moving robot and we wanted to check it out but it was really packed so we decided to skip it and just go straight to the shop in the Gundam factory. The shop was pretty huge, however the selection, it didn't really make my husband happy. He wanted to get himself a particular Gundam robot that he had when he was younger and I think it's one of the more popular ones so we were pretty sure that they were gonna have it but it wasn't there. But one thing that really got me excited during our trip to Yokohama was seeing this pig being walked by his family. It was the most adorable thing ever. Yokohama is so dog friendly. I felt so bad that we didn't bring Wancho that day, but we knew that if we had him with us, we wouldn't be allowed to go inside Gundam Factory. So we just made a promise that we would bring him back with us soon enough. We walked further and found the Yokohama Red Brick Warehouse where we saw a lot of cool independent shops inside as well as food stalls. However, it was also really packed so we decided to just come back another day. Especially since the day was ending and we had dinner plans with Wancho and our Japanese friends. We made our way back to Tokyo and we met up with our friends at Kona. It is a restaurant that serves pizza, drinks, and really good pasta. And the best thing is that they allow dogs inside. 
So here are our friends. This is Shota, and we've known him since our posting in Kuala Lumpur when he was also assigned there. It's been a while. <laughs> and this is Akari, his wife. They are newlyweds, and we are so happy for them and so happy to be living in the same city as them. But I'm gonna have to end the vlog here and I'll be uploading the next ones soon enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you soon. Keep it classy, everybody.